What's going on? Welcome to something new. I'm your host, Kamal. This is the One Man's Walk podcast. And right now you're checking out a short. So what I'm doing is giving you a breakout of a small portion within a larger episode. If you like what you see in a small section that's been broken out, then feel free to check out the full link below so you can see the full episode. Hopefully you enjoy it and it makes you want to go check out the full episode. But we're going to skip it up. This next one, Dead Presidents. I have... And I don't know if it's on this. It might be on this hard drive over here. I don't think it's on that one back there. But I have the version of Dead Presidents in which it starts off with the sample and breaking down how that sample was um, before it comes in. This is probably one of the greatest beats I've ever heard, period. This is just such an amazing beat. And the, the first version of it was already nuts. The video version, which is not this version. This is actually Dead Presidents Part 2. But the video version... Where he is like, you know, it um, it was all good just a week ago. About to start, ain't you? About to start snitching, ain't you? I forgive you, we tell. Hustling just ain't you. Aside from the fast cars, girls that shake their butts and bars, you know you wouldn't be involved. With the underworld dealers, carriers, and Mac Millers. East Coast bodies, West Coast cat pillars. Little monkey dudes turn gorillas. Like, of course that, you know... I want money like Cosby. Who wouldn't? It's that kind of talk that make you think you probably ain't. It's that kind of talk that made me think you probably ain't got no pudding. You know, the the nice play on because Bill Cosby was the pudding guy at that time, this yellow guy. So when we got this and I was like, what? This is a different version. But again, it's 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 so well done. This is, I keep saying it. I'm just so impressed. The CD is. And for those who don't know, when, when Jay-Z is like in, in the, in what is that, Takeover? Where he's dissing Nas and he said, listen, you made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. This is what he's referring to because obviously I'm out for presidents to represent me is the line that Nas uses on the classic Pete Rock inspired um, Whose World Is This? Which is an amazing record. And Jay-Z in his wittiness says you made it a hot line, which it was. I'm out for presidents to represent me, meaning I'm going to let my money speak for me. I'm going to let my money be my representation <clears throat> and so jay-z says you made a hot line i made a hot song which he did this is actual in fact <laughs> Hospital days reflected when my man laid up On the uptown high block, he got his side sprayed up I saw his life slipping This is a minor setback, yo, still in all we living His dream about to get back That made him smile though, his eyes said, pray for me I do you one better and slay these These dudes faithfully He says, murder is a tough thing to digest It's a slow process and I ain't got nothing but time. I had near grudges, not to mention three shots post range. Never touch me. Divine intervention can't stop by from drinking top cars with Tata ta done in Nevada. Word life, I dabble in crazy weight without rap. I was crazy straight. Hard, and I'm still spending money from 88. It's, I, I apologize for in the rock. Hopefully, this does not get me completely flagged. It's just so, so much. He says, in all possible ways, no the feds is bugging my life. Hospital days reflected when my man laid up. Now, and now he's going back. One of the things that made this CD so much different than other drug tailing CDs is that Jay-Z gave us such a different perspective. It wasn't all glamour. It wasn't all glitz. This CD had a lot of regret in it. It had a lot of hurt. It had a lot of shame in the midst of understanding this is the life I chose to be a part of. This is the mindset of what individuals in this life is like. And even if they don't tell you all aspects of it, I'm going to give you an inside perspective on the framework you need to have to live in this world. It is, it is, that to me is what made this CD stand out as far as the drug talk, because it wasn't like we hadn't heard it before. But the perspective was, it was not a glamorization. And we'll get to that when we get to records. I cannot live and stuff like that. But it just gives a realistic depiction of what it's like. And it's it's nuts. So he says, hospital days reflecting. He's thinking about it now. When my man laid up on an uptown hot block in Harlem, he said he got, his, he got his side sprayed up. He said, I saw his life slipping. This is a minor setback. Yo, still in all we live in. This dream about to get back. Why? Because his homeboy got shot. He's looking at him there and he's thinking, okay, those guys minorly, these guys for a small second stop what we're doing 
but we're going to get them back. Dreaming about the get back. He said that made him smile though. His eyes said, pray for me. So it made him smile realizing, you know what? Me getting shot is not in vain. My guys are going to ride for me, right? So he says, I'll do you one better. I'll slay these dudes faithfully. Meaning like, look, you don't even have to worry about it. I'm, I'm, we're, we're repaying them. He says, murder is a tough thing to die. It, I'm sure it is. I got no idea, but I'm sure it is. It's a slow process. He's like, I ain't got nothing but time. Meaning he has already made up his mind. This is what we're doing. And I am going to have a lifetime to digest the fact I took another person's life. So even in that, he's still not saying it and glorifying it to say like, yeah, yeah, I just kill people, whatever. He was like, look, murder is a tough thing to digest. Understanding like it's not an easy process to take another person's life. Now, some TV makes it look very glamorized and all this other stuff. And he's like, no, it's not like that. He said, it's a slow process. He said, I have nothing but time. I've made up in my mind. I am willing to do it and go this route, knowing the trauma is going to put me on. Shout out to the Mozzie Untreated Trauma City. I did do a review of that. And then he says, I had near brushes. Not to mention three shots close range, never touched me, divine intervention. Meaning that in his own life, he's also reflecting the same man. While my friend is sitting up here in the hospital because he was unable to avoid getting hit, I have had that those shots fired at me multiple times. And I, for whatever reason, divine intervention, have been able to escape them. And he says, you can't stop by from drinking my ties with Tai Tai, with Tai Tai, you know, Tai Tai, who he always talks about. It's it, it it's so many layers to it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't want to. I want to harp on it because I feel like I'd be here all day. It's so nuts a record. I do want to say, so this is new, but this is the outro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for sticking out to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for some of the other content that you see up right now. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content. Share, share, share.